Although significant progress has been made in developing and manufacturing a successful preventative COVID-19 vaccine, it is still important to understand how you as an individual can best prepare your body in the likely event of being exposed to the virus. Today, I will be discussing what is vitamin D, vitamin D's role in potentially preventing fatal COVID, how vitamin D can reduce the risk of developing illnesses such as type 2 diabetes and fuzz reducing the levels of case fatality rate with regards to COVID-19 and lastly but definitely not least how you as an individual can take action and avoid vitamin D deficiency. So please stick around until the end of the video as this information will be backed by scientific studies and will be very useful to you and those around you. As always, please like, subscribe and share this video so that others can benefit from this useful information. So let's start with the basics. What you see on the screen now is the chemical structure of vitamin D, also referred to as coal calciferol. Now as many of you will know, a major source of this vitamin D or coal calciferol is via a chemical reaction occurring in the lower layers of skin epidermis and this is a chemical reaction that is dependent on sun exposure. Another source is from our diet as well as supplementation. Foods rich in vitamin D include the flesh or fatty fish, such as salmon, as well as sardines. But I highly recommend supplementing with multivitamins daily, because, well, who in their right minds eats sardines, right? Vitamin D from the diet and skin synthesis is biologically inactive. So after two chemical reactions, one occurring in the liver and the other in the kidneys, this coal calciferol is ultimately converted to calcitriol, which is essentially biologically active vitamin D. The calcitriol circulates as a hormone in the blood, having several roles, including the promotion of healthy growth and remodeling of bones, roles in immune functions, and roles in the reduction of inflammation. And these are the key roles we'll be diving into today. There is mounting evidence that vitamin D may play a role in the prevention and treatment of COVID-19. So looking at vitamin D and pro-inflammatory cytokines, for those of you that don't know, as a surface level explanation, cytokines are small proteins that serve as molecular messengers between cells to play a crucial role in regulating our body's response to disease and infection. They can be released by certain cells, for example, by those of the immune system. Several studies have explained that the severity of COVID-19 is associated with an increased level of inflammatory mediators, including cytokines such as interleukin-6. One study stated that blood interleukin-6 level is highly correlated with the disease mortality when COVID-19 survivors and non-survivors are compared. Scientists are suggesting that fatal COVID-19 could be referred to as a cytokine release syndrome, i.e. a large rapid release of cytokines, which is induced by the cytokine storm caused by the presence of the virus in the body. The one way to treat this excess inflammation caused by excess interleukin-6 receptor signaling in our body upon COVID-19 infection is by the presence of vitamin D. Fascinatingly, one study highlighted that vitamin D can diminish the levels of interleukin-6 in the blood of patients and this was associated with a lower mortality rate. But please note that this study was on ventilator associated pneumonia patients, not COVID-19 patients. But I want to reiterate that there are several studies showing that there is an association between vitamin D deficiency and mortality of COVID-19 patients. So the science here does make sense. Moving on to our second point, as you will all will be aware of, those with illnesses and diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases and COPD tend to have higher incidence and case fatality rate with regards to COVID-19 than those who don't suffer with these diseases. But what's truly fascinating is that the relationship between levels of blood vitamin D and occurrence of diseases such as type 2 diabetes and hypertension is an inverse relationship. What this means is that as our blood vitamin D levels rise to healthy levels, the risk of developing hypertension or type 2 diabetes falls dramatically. So how can you avoid being vitamin D deficient? Firstly, if you have concerns that you may be vitamin D deficient and symptoms for this include depression, bone pain and fatigue, please request a blood test from your GP. This will most likely be the 25-hydroxy vitamin D test. In order to maintain an adequate level of vitamin D in the body, one must try to get more sunlight, have a balanced diet that includes salmon, sardines and fortified foods, as well as taking vitamin D supplements that are recommended by your GP. But please consult your GP before supplementation as there is such thing as uh, too much vitamin D. As always, 
Thanks for listening and sticking around until the end of the video. Please like, subscribe and share this critical information with others.